Hey everybody, it's me again today. I want to wish all of you a happy President's Day. Yeah. For this year's President's Day, I thought we'd look back at the beginning and go over all 46 of our nation's presidents. For those of you who are just starting to learn about the presidents, I'm going to keep it simple today and just give you some general information about the U.S. presidents and a fun fact about each one of them. So you ready? Let's get started. Number one, George Washington. He was born on February 22nd, 1732 and he died December 14, 1799, at the age of 67. His presidency lasted just under eight years, from April 30, 1789 to March 4, 1797. He was not a member of any political party during his presidency. John Adams stood as his vice president. He married Martha Dandridge Custis, but they had no children together. He was six feet two inches tall. Fun fact. Washington's false teeth were not wooden despite the legend. They were actually made out of gold, lead, and animal teeth. Number 2. John Adams He was born John Adams Jr. on October 30, 1735, and he died July 4, 1826, at the age of 90. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4, 1797 to March 4, 1801. He was a member of the Federalist Political Party. Thomas Jefferson stood as his vice president. He married Abigail Smith, and together they had five children. He was five feet seven inches tall. Fun fact, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson both died on the same day, July 4th, 1826, on the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which they both contributed to. Adams had no idea that Jefferson had died hours before he did, and his last words were, Thomas Jefferson still survives. Number 3. Thomas Jefferson He was born on April 13, 1743, and he died July 4, 1826, at the age of 83. His presidency lasted eight years, from March 4, 1801 to March 4, 1809. He was a member of the Democratic-Republican political party. Aaron Burr and George Clinton stood as the vice presidents. He married Martha Skelton, but she died years before he would enter the presidency. But they had six children together. He stood six feet two inches tall. Fun fact. Jefferson is also credited for founding the University of Virginia in 1819 on a piece of land that used to belong to his good friend, James Monroe. Number 4. James Madison He was born James Madison Jr. on March 16, 1751, and he died June 28, 1836, at the age of 85. His presidency lasted eight years, from March 4, 1809 to March 4, 1817. He was a member of the Democratic-Republican political party. George Clinton and Elbridge Geary stood as the vice presidents. He married Dorothea Payne Todd, who was nicknamed Dolly, and they had two children together. Madison stood five feet four inches tall. Fun fact. Madison was also very lightweight, weighing no more than 98 pounds, making him the smallest president in U.S. history. Despite that, he has gone down in history as one of our most influential founding fathers and helps advocate for the Constitution. Number 5. James Monroe He was born on April 28, 1758, and died July 4, 1831, at the age of 73. His presidency lasted eight years, from March 4, 1817 to March 4, 1825. He was a member of the Democratic-Republican political party. Daniel D. Tompkins stood as the vice president. He married Elizabeth Courtright, and they had three children together. 
He stood six feet tall. Fun fact, Monroe was the third and last president to die on Independence Day of July 4th. The other two were John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. Number six, John Quincy Adams. He was born on July 11th, 1767, and he died February 23rd, 1848, at the age of 80. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4th, 1825 to March 4th, 1829. He was a member of the Democratic-Republican political party. John Calhoun stood as his vice president. He married Louisa Johnson, and they had five kids together. He stood five feet seven inches tall. Fun fact, John Quincy Adams would be the first of two presidents to also be the son of a president. His father, John Adams, was the second president. The second president to also be the son of a president was George W. Bush. Number seven, Andrew Jackson. He was born on March 15, 1767, and died June 8, 1845, at the age of 78. His presidency lasted eight years, from March 4th, 1829, to March 4th, 1837. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. John Calhoun and Martin Van Buren stood as vice presidents. He married Rachel Donaldson, but she died a few weeks after he was elected. And they adopted two children. He stood six feet one inch tall. Fun fact, Jackson actually had a pet parrot that he actually taught to curse. In fact, the parrot had to be removed from Jackson's funeral because it cursed so much. Number eight, Martin Van Buren. He was born on December 5th, 1782, and he died July 24th, 1862. At the age of 79, his presidency lasted four years, from March 4, 1837 to March 4, 1841. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. Richard Johnson stood as his vice president. He married Hannah Hose, but she died years before he would become president. And they had six children together. He stood five feet six inches tall. Fun fact. Van Buren is considered by many to be the first president born an American citizen, as he was the first president born after the issuing of the Declaration of Independence. All the presidents before him were born before then, and thereby were British subjects. Number 9. William Henry Harrison He was born on February 9, 1773, and died April 4, 1841 at the age of 68. His presidency lasted only one month, from March 4th to April 4th of 1841, making him the first president to die in office. He was a member of the Whig political party. John Tyler stood as his vice president. He married Anna Sims, and they had 10 children together. He stood five feet eight inches tall. Fun fact, Harrison might have had the shortest term of any president, but he had the longest inaugural address of any president. It lasted nearly two hours, which he spoke in the rain without a jacket on. Many say that was what led to his death a month later, but the illness that killed him didn't come until three weeks into his presidency. Number 10, John Tyler. He was born John Tyler Jr. on March 29, 1790 and died January 18, 1862, at the age of 71. His presidency lasted one month shy of four years, from April 4, 1841, to March 4, 1845. He was first a member of the Whig political party, but then he was not a member of any political party, nor did he have a vice president. He married Latinia Christian, but she died while he was in office, and then he married Julia Gardner and he had 15 children. He stood six feet tall. Fun fact, John Tyler's 15 children gave him the record of the president who had the most kids in U.S. history. Number 11, James K. Polk. He was born James Knox Polk on November 2nd, 1795, and he died June 15th, 1849, at the age of 53. 
His presidency lasted four years, from March 4th, 1845 to March 4th, 1849. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. George Dallas stood as his vice president. He married Sarah Childress, but they had no children together. He was five feet eight inches tall. Fun fact, while he was campaigning for president, Polk promised he would not seek a second term if elected. He kept that promise and left four years in the presidency, which is fitting because he only lived for another three months after that. Number 12, Zachary Taylor. He was born on November 24, 1784, and died July 9, 1850, at the age of 65. His presidency lasted just under a year and a half, from March 4, 1849, until July 9, 1850. He was a member of the Whig political party. Millard Fillmore stood as the vice president. He married Margaret Smith, whose nickname was Peggy, and they had six kids together. He stood 5 feet 8 inches tall. Fun fact, Taylor was originally a hero of the Mexican-American War, giving him the nickname Old Rough and Ready. Number 13, Millard Fillmore. He was born on January 7, 1800, and died March 8, 1874, at the age of 74. His presidency lasted just under three years, from July 9, 1850 to March 4, 1853. He was members of the Anti-Masonic, then Whig, and the Native American political parties. He did not have a vice president while in office. He married Abigail Powers, but she died, and then he married Caroline Carmichael, and he had two children. He stood 5 feet 9 inches tall. Fun fact, Millard Fillmore was a guy who really loved books. During his presidency, he went out of his way to personally help fight a fire that destroyed parts of the Library of Congress, and later signing a bill that funded the replacement of all the books that were destroyed. Number 14, Franklin Pierce. He was born on November 23, 1804, and died October 8, 1869, at the age of 64. His presidency lasted four years from March 4th, 1853 to March 4th, 1857. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. William R. King stood as his vice president. He married Jane Appleton, and they had three children, but none of them lived to adulthood. He stood five feet, 10 inches tall. Fun fact, Pierce was known for being a really heavy drinker, so much so that it's reported that as he was leaving the White House, he told an associate of his, there's nothing left to do but get drunk. Number 15, James Buchanan. He was born James Buchanan Jr. on April 23, 1791. He died June 1, 1868, at the age of 77. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4, 1857 to March 4, 1861. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. John C. Breckinridge stood as his vice president. He did not marry or have any children. He was six feet tall. Fun fact, James Buchanan was the only bachelor to ever maintain the presidency. Though the reasons he remained unmarried are unknown, and there exist many theories as to why he remained unmarried. Number 16, Abraham Lincoln. He was born on February 12, 1809, and died April 15, 1865, at the age of 56. His presidency lasted just more than four years, from March 4, 1861, to April 15, 1865, making him the first president to be assassinated. He was first a member of the Whig political party, and then a Republican, and then a member of the National Union. Hannibal Hamlin and Andrew Johnson stood as vice presidents. He married Mary Todd, and they had four children together. He was six feet four inches tall. Fun fact, one method Lincoln used to keep his files in order was to place them in his top hat, which he used as a filing cabinet. Number 17, Andrew Johnson. 
He was born on December 29, 1808, and died July 31, 1875, at the age of 66. His presidency lasted just under four years, from April 15, 1865 to March 4, 1869. He was a member of the National Union Political Party and then of the Democratic Political Party. He did not have a vice president during his tenure. He married Eliza McCardle, and they had five kids together. He was five feet ten inches tall. Fun fact, Johnson never received a formal education in his childhood, and it was his wife Eliza who taught him how to read and write. Number 18, Ulysses S. Grant. He was born Hiram Ulysses Grant, on April 27, 1822, and died July 23, 1885, at the age of 63. His presidency lasted eight years, from March 4, 1869 to March 4, 1877. He was a member of the Republican Party. Schoolier Colfax and Henry Wilson stood as vice presidents. He married Julia Dent, and they had four children together. He stood five feet, eight inches tall. Fun fact, Grant actually got a speeding ticket while riding his horse too fast, and he actually had to pay $20 for that ticket. Number 19, Rutherford B. Hayes. He was born Rutherford Bertrand Hayes on October 4, 1822. He died January 17, 1893, at the age of 70. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4, 1877 to March 4, 1881. He was a member of the Whig, then Republican, and then Free Soil Political Party. William A. Wheeler was his vice president. He married Lucy Webb, and they had eight children together. He was five feet, nine inches tall. Fun fact, Hayes was the first president to have a phone installed in the White House. And if you ever wanted to call him, the number you had to dial was literally... One. Number 20. James A. Garfield. He was born James Abram Garfield on November 19, 1831. He died September 19, 1881, at the age of 49. His presidency lasted over six months, from March 4 to September 19, 1881. He was the second president to be assassinated. He was a member of the Republican political party. Chester A. Arthur was his vice president. He married Lucretia Rudolph, and they had seven children together. He was six feet tall. Fun fact, Garfield was ambidextrous, meaning he could write in each hand. Not only that, he could write in multiple languages. He could impress people by writing Latin in one hand and Greek in another. Number 21. Chester A. Arthur. He was born Chester Allen Arthur on October 5, 1829. He died November 18, 1886, at the age of 57. His presidency lasted just under three and a half years, from September 19, 1881 to March 4, 1885. He was a member of the Republican political party. He did not have a vice president during his presidency. He married Ellen Herndon, but her nickname was Nellie. She had three children with him. He stood six feet, two inches tall. Fun fact, Arthur was known for enjoying a lavish lifestyle, which included owning over 80 pairs of pants. In fact, he would even change pants several times a day. But since the pants were very elegant, this gave him the nickname Elegant Arthur. Number 22 and number 24. Grover Cleveland. He was born Stephen Grover Cleveland on March 18, 1837, and died June 24, 1908, at the age of 71. His first term was March 4, 1885 to March 4, 1889. His second term was March 4, 1893 to March 4, 1897, each one lasting four years. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. Thomas A. Hendricks and Adlai Stevenson stood as vice presidents. He married Frances Folsom in the White House, and they had five children together. He was five feet, eleven inches tall. 
Fun fact, Grover Cleveland was the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms in the White House. That's why he's both the 22nd and the 24th president. Now that we know that, let's dive right in between the terms of Grover Cleveland. Number 23, Benjamin Harrison. He was born on August 20th, 1833, and died March 13th, 1901, at the age of 67. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4th, 1889 to March 4th, 1893. He was a member of the Republican political party. Levi P. Morton stood as the vice president. He married Caroline Scott, but she died while he was the president. And then he married Mary Dimmick, and he had three children. He was five feet, six inches tall. Fun fact, Benjamin Harrison was the first president to have electric lights installed into the White House. Rumor has it is that he and his family were too scared to touch the switches for fear of receiving an electric shock. Now that we've established that Grover Cleveland was also the 24th president, let's skip right ahead to the next administration. Number 25, William McKinley. He was born William McKinley Jr. on January 29, 1843. He died September 14, 1901 at the age of 58. His presidency was four and a half years long from March 4th, 1897 to September 14th, 1901. He was the third president to be assassinated. He was a member of the Republican political party. Gary Hubbard and Theodore Roosevelt stood as vice presidents. He married Ida Saxton and they had two children together. He was five feet, seven inches tall. Fun fact, William McKinley was also tech-savvy, being the first president to use a telephone while campaigning for the presidency. Number 26, Theodore Roosevelt. He was born Theodore Roosevelt Jr. on October 27, 1858. He died January 6, 1919, at the age of 60. His presidency was just under seven and a half years, from September 14, 1901 to March 4, 1909. He was a member of the Republican and then the Bull Moose parties. Charles W. Fairbanks was the vice president. He married Alice Lee, but then she passed away, and then he married Edith Carroll, and together they had six children. He was five feet ten inches tall. Fun fact, T.R., as he's often called, was our nation's youngest president inaugurated the presidency at only 42 years old. Number 27, William Howard Taft. He was born September 15, 1857, and died March 8, 1930, at the age of 72. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4, 1909 to March 4, 1913. He was a member of the Republican Party. James S. Sherman stood as the vice president. He married Helen Herring, and they had three children. He was six feet tall. Fun fact, after the presidency, Taft was still involved in American politics, eventually joining the Supreme Court as Chief Justice in 1921, and even inaugurating a future president, Herbert Hoover, in 1929. Number 28, Woodrow Wilson. He was born Thomas Woodrow Wilson on December 28, 1856. He died February 3, 1924, at the age of 67. His presidency lasted eight years, from March 4, 1913 to March 4, 1921. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. Thomas R. Marshall stood as his vice president. He married Ellen Axon, but then she died, and he married Edith Galt and he had three children. He was five feet, 11 inches tall. Fun fact, Wilson received a PhD in political science and history at John Hopkins University, making him the highest educated of our US presidents. Number 29, Warren G. Harding. He was born Warren Gamaliel Harding on November 2nd, 1865. He died August 2nd, 1923, at the age of 57. His presidency lasted only two years, from 
from March 4th, 1921 to August 2nd, 1923. He was a member of the Republican political party. Calvin Coolidge served as his vice president. He married Florence Mabel, but they had no children together. He was six feet tall. Fun fact, despite being popular during his presidency, Harding's administration was dogged by many scandals, and this bothered the president greatly, even driving him as far as saying, I am not fit for this office and never should have been here. Number 30. Calvin Coolidge. He was born John Calvin Coolidge Jr. on July 4th, 1872. He died January 5th, 1933 at the age of 60. His presidency lasted about five and a half years, from August 2nd, 1923 to March 4th, 1929. He was a member of the Republican Party. Charles Dawes served as the vice president. He married Grace Goodhue, and they had two children together. He was 5 feet 10 inches tall. Fun fact, as the story goes, a woman named Dorothy Parker sat next to Coolidge at a dinner party, and since he was so quiet, she said to him that she had bet that she could make him say three words or more. He simply responded by saying, You lose. Number 31. Herbert Hoover he was born Herbert Clark Hoover on August 10, 1874. He died October 20, 1964, at the age of 90. His presidency lasted four years, from March 4, 1929 to March 4, 1933. He was a member of the Republican political party. Charles Curtis was his vice president. He married Lou Henry, and they had two children together. He was six feet tall. Fun fact, Herbert Hoover was the first president born west of the Mississippi River in the state of Iowa, and he reportedly never crossed the Mississippi River until he was 22 years old. Number 32, Franklin D. Roosevelt. He was born Franklin Delano Roosevelt on January 30th, 1882, and died April 12th, 1945, at the age of 63. His presidency lasted 12 years, from March 4, 1933 to April 12, 1945. He was a member of the Democratic political party. John Garner, Henry Wallace, and Harry S. Truman were his vice presidents. He married Anna Eleanor Roosevelt, and they had six children together. He was six feet two inches tall. Fun fact, not only was FDR a distant cousin of Theodore Roosevelt, our nation's youngest president, but FDR himself was our nation's longest serving president, serving four terms while in office. And it was after his death that it was constitutionally illegal to serve more than two terms. Number 33, Harry S. Truman. He was born on May 8, 1884. He died December 26, 1972 at the age of 88. His presidency lasted a little under eight years, from April 12, 1945 to January 20th, 1953. He was a member of the Democratic political party. Alvin W. Barclay stood as his vice president. He married Elizabeth Wallace, whose nickname was Bess, and they had one child together. He was five feet, nine inches tall. Fun fact, while the S in Harry S. Truman did represent his middle name, it was just that, it was only S. Both of his grandfather's names started with S, and his parents couldn't decide which one, so they named his middle name simply S in honor of both of them. Number 34, Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was born Dwight David Eisenhower on October 14, 1890. He died March 28, 1969, at the age of 78. His presidency lasted eight years, from January 20th, 1953 to January 20th, 1961. He was a member of the Republican Party. Richard Nixon stood as his vice president. He married Mamie Dowd, and they had two children together. He was five feet, 10 inches tall. Fun fact, before his presidency, Eisenhower had some military experience in his career, serving as a major general in World War II. Number 35. John F. Kennedy. 
He was born John Fitzgerald Kennedy Sr. on May 29th, 1917. He died November 22nd, 1963, at age 46. He was the last of the presidents to be assassinated. His presidency lasted just under three years, from January 20th, 1961 to November 22nd, 1963. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. Lyndon B. Johnson stood as his vice president. He married Jacqueline Bouvier, whose nickname was Jackie, and they had four children together. He was six feet tall. Fun fact. John F. Kennedy earned so much money through his family's trust that he was not dependent on his congressional and presidential salaries. As a result, he donated all the money from those salaries to charity. Number 36, Lyndon B. Johnson. He was born Lyndon Baines Johnson on August 27, 1908, and died January 22, 1973, at the age of 64. His presidency lasted just over five years, from November 22, 1963 to January 20, 1969. He was a member of the Democratic Party. Hubert Humphrey stood as his vice president. He married Claudia Taylor, whose nickname was Lady Bird, and they had two children together. He was six feet four inches tall. Fun fact, LBJ was the first president sworn in on an airplane Hours after Kennedy was announced dead, he was sworn in on Air Force One by federal judge Sarah Hughes. Number 37, Richard Nixon. He was born Richard Milhouse Nixon on January 9, 1913. He died April 22, 1994, at the age of 81. His presidency lasted just over five and a half years, from January 20th, 1969, until he resigned on August 9th, 1974. He was a member of the Republican Party. Spiro Agnew and Gerald Ford stood as vice presidents. He married Thelma Ryan, whose nickname was Pat, and they had two children. He was 5 feet 11 inches tall. Fun fact, while in the Navy, Nixon noticed that some of his mates in the unit were winning poker games, always the opportunist, Nixon had the best poker player in his unit teach him how to play. Within a few months, he had won over $6,000 in poker games, which he used to fund his first congressional campaign. Number 38, Gerald Ford. He was born Leslie Lynch King Jr. on July 14, 1913. He died December 26, 2006, at the age of 93. His presidency was just under two and a half years, from August 9, 1974 to January 20th, 1977. He was a member of the Republican political party. Nelson A. Rockefeller served as his vice president. He married Elizabeth Bloomer, and they had four children together. He was six feet tall. Fun fact, Gerald Ford became Richard Nixon's vice president after the first guy, Spiro Agnew, resigned due to scandals. Upon Richard Nixon's resignation, Ford became president, making Ford the only man in U.S. history to be both vice president and president, and have not been elected to either office. Number 39, Jimmy Carter. He was born James Earl Carter Jr. on October 1st, 1924. He is still lying to this day at 96 years old. His presidency lasted four years, from January 20th, 1977 to January 20th, 1981. He was a member of the Democratic Political Party. Walter Mondale was his vice president. He married Eleanor Rosalind Smith, and they had four children together. He stands five feet ten inches tall. Fun fact, Jimmy Carter is also well known for the numerous post-presidency accomplishments he has attributed to. Ever since he left the presidency, he's won a Nobel Prize, built homes for the needy, written dozens of books, and has even taught Sunday school. Number 40, Ronald Reagan. He was born Ronald Wilson Reagan on February 6, 1911. He died June 5, 2004 at the age of 93. His presidency lasted eight years, from January 20th, 1981 to January 20th, 1989. 
He was a member of the Democratic and then the Republican Party. George Bush was his vice president. He married Jane Wyman, but then they divorced, and he married Nancy Davis. And together they had four children. He was six feet one inch tall. Fun fact, Ronald Reagan was also quite the entertainer during his day. In his younger years, he had a few credits as a movie star, and he was not afraid to crack a joke here and there during his presidency. Number 41, George Bush. He was born George Herbert Walker Bush on June 12, 1924. He died November 30, 2018, at the age of 94. He was president for four years, from January 20th, 1989 to January 20th, 1993. He was a member of the Republican Party. Dan Quayle stood as the vice president. He married Barbara Pierce, and they had six children together. He was six feet, two inches tall. Fun fact, Bush's middle names of Herbert and Walker give him the record of being the only president to have more than one middle name. Number 42. Bill Clinton. He was born William Jefferson Blythe III on August 19, 1946. He is still alive to this day at 74 years old. He was president for eight years, from January 20, 1993 to January 20, 2001. He was a member of the Democratic Party. Al Gore is the vice president. He married Hillary Rodham, and they had one child together. He is six feet, two inches tall. Fun fact, Bill and his wife Hillary have actually won three Grammys for Best Spoken Word Album for Children, all audiobooks. Number 43, George W. Bush. He was born George Walker Bush on July 6, 1946. He is still alive to this day at 74 years old. He was president for eight years, from January 20th, 2001 to January 20th, 2009. He was a member of the Republican Party. Dick Cheney stood as the vice president. He married Laura Welsh, and they had two children together. He is six feet tall. Fun fact, while in high school, W was the head cheerleader, arranging pet talks and entertaining skits during weekly assemblies. Number 44, Barack Obama. He was born Barack Hussein Obama II on August 4, 1961. He is still alive to this day at 59 years old. He was president for eight years, from January 20, 2009 to January 20, 2017. He was a member of the Democratic Party. Joe Biden stood as vice president. He married Michelle Robinson, and they had two children together. He is six feet, one inch tall. Fun fact, Obama is actually quite a comic book nerd. He's read lots of Marvel comic books, including Spider-Man and Conan the Barbarian. He's even read a few of the Harry Potter books. Number 45, Donald Trump. He was born Donald John Trump on June 14, 1946. He is still alive to this day at 74 years old. He was president for four years, from January 20, 2017 to January 20, 2021. He was a member of the Republican Party. Mike Pence was the vice president. He first married Ivana Marie, but then they divorced and he married Marla Maples, but then they divorced, and now he's married to Melania Knobs. All in all, he has five children. He is six feet two inches tall. Fun fact, we've heard a lot about this guy in the news, but in the 90s, he was making lots of TV appearances. He guest starred in several movies and TV shows, including Home Alone, The Nanny, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Number 46, Joe Biden. He was born Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. on November 20th, 1942. He has been our president since his inauguration on January 20th, 2021. He is a member of the Democratic Political Party. Kamala Harris stands as vice president. He married Nelia Hunter, but then she died, and he then married Jill Jacobs, and together he has four children. 
He stands six feet tall. Fun fact, Joe Biden is now by record the oldest president of the United States, inaugurated last month at the age of 78. And that is it today, folks, all 46 presidents of the United States of America. Now, keep in mind, this is only general information about them. I didn't go into detail how I personally felt about them as presidents. If I do, that might be for another video. Right now, I'll have to keep that to myself. So join me on our next adventure. I will see you all next time, and have a happy President's Day.